Hey everybody, welcome to this week's video where we are going to paint these three blank canvases and turn them into, into this. Let's get started. Oh wait, not quite there yet. A little bit farther. Well, let's get started. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Check it out. Buy something. Boo, 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 boo. Logo. Subscribe. All right, so the first thing we're doing here is just laying in kind of the shape and the feeling of the wave. You know, just trying to, it's gonna kind of build up here to the center panel. And then kind of come down here, just be like just kind of a big swell. So if you follow along on my Instagram, last week I shared a post that hopefully didn't get uh, misunderstood when I talked about, you know, the self-doubt that myself as an artist faces and I think a lot of artists face. And I learned through that post that yes, a lot of other artists feel that way as well. And we've pretty much reached the point of this painting where the self-doubt is on overdrive. I've been wrestling with the painting for a while, it's not turning out the way I want, and I start to think, will I ever get this painting done? And I've painted probably 50 storm, stormy cloud paintings, but every time I paint one, I reach the point where I paint over the whole thing and I think this painting will never, this painting will never work. I'm not trying to reach for compliments, but just show the truth of what happens when, while I paint. You never feel like you're good enough, but work it out. Just gotta keep, keep at it. Tonight we're doing a little art here at the kitchen table with Seth. Hi, mm. Seth. Hi. And uh, we're doing some flip book art. So basically, there's this ball, right? It seems like a normal ball at the start. So then the stick figure throws it. It comes back to him, hits him in the head. He goes like this. Then it's coming back around. That that's what I got so far. It, then it hits him in, in the in the back of the head again, and it goes up, and he's just like, well, bye ball. Then it comes from below, and, and just grabs him and pulls him under. <laughs> All right, so I think I finally, got this sky like 90% dialed in where I want it to be. Seriously folks, I've painted this sky over seven times. I finally stopped vlogging, videoing. I was three days of wrestling with this painting. Um, it's the first time I ever tried to do like a sunset peeking through a storm type situation. And I think I'm finally starting to be happy with it. Now I'm starting on the water. I'm gonna pick the vlog and the video back up. Let's finish this thing.
right, back at it. Last day. I think we're gonna finish her up today. so much for following along watching this painting it was a lot of fun it was a lot harder than I expected it to be um, working out the sunset clouds and the three panels was a little tricky but I'm really happy with how it turns out I'm gonna go deliver it tomorrow so hopefully the client will love it and tune in next week sorry I didn't upload last week but my daughter was in the hospital for a couple days she's doing good now but to make it up to you guys I'm gonna put a coupon code in the description below for 20% off your order over at davidmccumber.com shop yeah punch in that discount code and get some free shipping and some discounted art make your walls look more beautiful -er. alright guys I'll see you next week thanks a lot subscribe